Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Claudio Barba, motion designer from Brussels, uh, Belgium. So let's say you own a house or an apartment and you want to sell it. Or maybe you own a real estate agency and you want to sell houses in general. You have done a very nice video, but you want to add some labels, some call outs on the videos that stick to the video. So. This is how you can do this in After Effects. It's pretty easy. Uh, you're gonna just uh, using the tracking uh, feature of uh, After Effects. You're gonna create a 3D camera. There are many ways to do it, but this is one of the easiest way. So let's see together how we can do this. So let's start from the beginning. So first thing to do is to create a new project in After Effects. So new new project. And after that, in the project window here, you can right click and click on import file. Now you have to choose the file that you want to add the labels to. For me, this is the file. And you can leave create composition already checked. So it will create a composition for us automatically. You see that we have already our composition now open in the After Effects. And now what we want to do is to work with the tracker. So I have it here. If you don't have it, you got just go to the window menu and find it in the menu and select it. After that, uh, sorry, tracker, where did you go here? You have to click on track camera while you're MP4 is selected in the timeline. So click on track camera. And you see that now After Effects is analyzing the video. It's a five seconds video, so it won't take much time. It depends on your PC, on the power of your PC, of your Mac. So you see that it's analyzing frame by frame. You can give some indications to After Effects uh, if it's a fixed angle of view, a variable zoom, so that it can work better of you. Just leave it like that and see what happens. Uh, if you also watch into the advanced folder, you can see that you can choose the solve method. By default, it's set to auto detect. So After Effects is going to do the work for you. Otherwise, you can select typical or uh, mostly flat scene or tripod pan. You see that once uh, the analyze is complete, you see that method used uh, with the auto detect is the tripod pan. You see, because we have kind of pan here with from top to, to bottom. You see that the average error is 1.17 pixels, which is quite a lot. In this case, it's more than one pixel. But as we are not doing Hollywood movie, it's going to be okay. Otherwise, you want to try to do the detailed analysis or maybe trying to get a better uh, footage. Sometimes if you have a blur or flashes into the video, it's going to have some difficulties in analyzing. Anyway, we are OK now. So if you select the effect here, you see that we have a lot of points. These are all the points that Alter Effects has found that is going to track. If we go forward, you see that they are moving with the video. Now we want to find a place where to place uh, our, our label. In this case, let's say that we want to add a label here over the window. So you see that uh, After Effects is proposing three uh, three points each time, but you can choose many more points just by clicking on the mouse and then shift clicking others. As soon as you have three, you see that it's proposing a target, uh, but you can select many. And then it's going to do a, an average of the points. But let's say that for us, uh, we take for example this one, this one, and this one. So this is what After Effects is proposing us. Now you can right click here and you can create, if you want to just add a text, you just create text and camera. Otherwise, if you want to add some more complex labels, you can create solid and camera. Let's create solid and camera for this time so that we can see the more complex example. Now you see that um, After Effects has created a camera that is going to simulate the camera that we have used to 
take the, the footage and it's proposing us this uh, solid. Do you see that it's not a little it's a little bit um, wrong there's something wrong so what you can do is first of all is to select here on the bottom right the four views and you see that um, it's mostly okay okay it's not really perpendicular to the camera um, so what you can do here is to move it slightly so that it it is parallel to the to the house and maybe turn here a little bit just to to find a position that it's it's good for for us to further control the position you can also add a grid effect so if you select here the effects and presets and selecting the track and solid here you look for grid generate grid double click you see that we have added a grid here so that we can align and now we can go back to one view and zoom a little bit here to see that the position is pretty good huh? it's pretty good huh? it's not perfect maybe a little bit like that okay okay let's say we are okay with that we can deselect the grid here so selecting the track solid here on the timeline control shift c to pre-compose and okay you see that after effects has created a composition for us and now here if we open the the composition we can add some text in here so let's say text let's put it somewhere in the center maybe we can if you go back to the initial composition you see that we have our text there we can also now um, delete this solid we don't need that anymore so if you go back to the to initial composition you see that we have our text which is connected to the house so now let's say that you want to uh, add some movement to the to the label you can do a lot of things for instance let's do something that is uh, creating the, the label in here so if we want to add some more interesting so let's click let's create some 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 rectangle on, on the background so click on the rectangle tool let's add some some rectangle in here um with some fill solid fill okay we can put it here on the back after the text and this is going to be our rectangle and we are going to animate this with the scale so let's animate the scale at the beginning so that it builds up a little bit so at the beginning or well, let's say that we want our um, background ready after one second so let's put a keyframe in here and let's press f9 to add easy ease to this keyframe we can also uh, unselect the the constraint proportions here because we want to play with the different proportions so let's say more or less at the half uh, we say that we oh let's keep it 100 here but we can leave something like five okay and here we put uh, five like that so we have something like this and something like this hope and hope so let's copy this one and move it a bit a bit like that and, and control v to paste it so that it's not changing after this one so that we have a little bit of pose and now we can go to the selecting one of the keyframes we click on the diagram here on the graph editor uh, you can work with the value graph or with the speed graph let's let's click on speed graph it's going to be easier in this case so um, let me open it a little bit more here and let's zoom here on the timeline so if you select 
this keyframe and get the handle here by pressing uh, shift you can see that we are changing the speed so that it's not uh, increasing immediately but it's going to be more uh, smooth so we do the same thing on the other oops if you need to click to to keep the shift button while moving so let's see that hop hop yes this is what we what we want um and now we can just copy this uh, shape layer duplicate with ctrl d okay and we move this uh, over the text uh, and we are going to use the same um, layer as a mat for the mask for masking the the, the text uh, label so just bear with me just go to the track mat here if you don't have this uh, just click on toggle switches here and select alpha mat shape layer 2 now you see that the text is appearing with the same shape now maybe we can modify the background color or we can just uh, for example let's click on t here and reduce the opacity to 50 51 whatever and yes that's it what we want and now we go back to the initial composition and whoppa, and we have this label opening and we can we can you can write whatever you want in the in the text field of course it's gonna be very easy you see just follow step by step what we have done I will do a series maybe of uh, examples uh, how to add labels uh, on uh, footage on houses different kind of labels uh, on callouts uh, this one was very easy using the track camera the 3d tracking but you can also use the 2d tracking maybe it depends on the on what you what you need but I think that this was a, a good example to start with so if you want to see more videos and more examples like this uh, subscribe to my channel just uh, click on the subscribe button and the bell on the side so that we get notified when I will be publishing the next example like this so I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any question just leave them in the comments below so thank you very much and see you next time <laughs>